What is up everyone, Jay here with another Fire Emblem Heroes video and today I'm going to be summoning on Halloween Tamara's banner to try and plus 10 her. I only need two more copies for the plus 10 and um, when she debuted last year I summoned for her, I made a video for that and I think I got her to plus 6 and then I summoned for her again on our double special heroes rerun and then I got two copies of her, one before the spark. So um, I'm going to try to do the same here, get two copies at the bare minimum with about 257 orbs. Um, and it is a bit scary to be summoning on a rerun banner because there's no spark on it sadly So like I don't even remember the last time I've summoned on a banner without a spark uh, Because the spark is so good, but yeah, uh, Tamara is the goal here if I can get uh, I guess Anna would be cool because I don't have her and Flane I suppose but Tamara is obviously the priority and her build I did update a little bit Thanks to her base version that just released so I haven't made a summoning video in a while But um, I have been summoning quite a bit off screen and you know in the past few months because they don't let me save orbs there's been a lot of characters i like that have dropped so her base version dropped so i gave her time pulse echo for this build for lagu's friend ignis really really fun and obviously she can use godly reflex as gust but i wanted to do ignis and lagu's friend just to hit really really hard and kind of emulate her base version because her base version hits really really hard with her special so yeah um, obviously you can use Gust because she has the speed for it, but I just like to make use of her defense and be a little bit more unique. So that's my Tamara build, so hopefully I can max her out today. And then her base version released recently, which I got really, really lucky for. Um, I got, I don't remember exactly, but I got five copies or four copies in like less than 300 orbs, which is really, really good. So thankfully, you know, the game rewarded me for being such a big Tamara fan. So yeah, this this alt of her, I mean, it's not really an alt, it's her base version, but it's still in the Toon Hero, is really, really strong, in my opinion, a top five, top 10 uh, infantry unit in the game because she really relies on her special. That's one weakness of her because Sandstorm is super good, but once she does trigger it, she can pretty much kill anything, I feel like, or at least most things. Um, so it really helps against stuff like Brave Felix because I do have a Toon Sita, who is one of the best units in the game as well, but she kind of struggles against some of the faster threats like Brave Felix. And, uh, you know, Tamara being able to stop buffs is really, really helpful and also have the uh, bulwark effect to stop, you know, Celica ring shenanigans. So, yeah, Tamara has been really, really fun to use. I'm using her right now in Aether Raids. And, uh, you know, she helped her Halloween version uh, with an upgrade in her build. And I also gave one to Ophelia because they refused to give her a refine. Mine is like plus seven. And then I gave one to uh, Base Mars because Breath of Life and Lagoose Friend is really good. And I don't have any Breath of Life on any of my Mars, I don't think. So that's what I did. And then I'm still debating what to give or who to give the last Tamara to before I merge her. And then the craziest summons I've had probably ever in this game is the ones I went for Legendary Shed. So I wasn't actually aiming for him. Um, <laughs> you guys can skip ahead to the actual summons. I'm just rambling, just talking about what's been happening. But yeah, I got nine shes in under 500 orbs which is absolutely absurd i don't think i'll ever get this lucky ever again now i wasn't going for him like i said i i, I was actually going for one emblem ike because i wanted the goose friend for my brave tiki but he just kept showing up like crazy like every few circles he would just show up and um i can show you all the summons i got <laughs> it's insane like i can't believe i got nine of him so he ended up becoming an accidental merge project and I've been using him in Arena and he's gotten me, I think, like three consecutive crowns. So he's really, really busted, honestly, because he has the warping that uh, isn't stopped by, you know, uh, bulwark skills. So he basically has pass. And there are a few counters to him, like, uh, you know, the new Fiorm alt, but still, Shez is just amazing. And he's gotten me a lot of wins in Aether Raid. So yeah, Shez, even though I'm not really a big fan of him as a character or anything, you know, he's cool. And, uh, you know, Luck decided to just make me almost plus 10 him so uh, i'll probably make a summoning video to finish him off at some point because he's plus eight as you can see so insane luck like i can't believe like i've and that's saying a lot because i've been playing this game since launch i've gotten a lot of good and bad luck but i've never gotten nine copies in under 500 orbs that's insane like i can't make this stuff up so yeah shez was the most insane uh recent summoning session <laughs> so that's what i've been that's what's been happening and then i also summoned for nagi uh recently because her halloween alt's amazing and i got her to plus one i would love to plus 10 her someday so yeah that's what's been going on with my summons and now we will proceed forth and try to get tamara to plus 10 i'm um, gonna be sniping blues obviously and uh again you know summoning on a banner without spark is a bit scary because there's no guarantee so hopefully you know this is somewhat smooth sailing and hopefully 200 is enough 
to get the last two. We get Hesty on the first summon. I already did my free summon off screen. I couldn't wait. So <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, um, we do have the focus charge at least. So that could help us, you know. Um, so let's see. Okay, we get smoke on the second summon. I was going to say the first one. My bad. Uh, we get Matilda. She really deserves a resplendent. Hopefully she gets one one day or some kind of like ascended ult. Shadows of Lentia, man. They always get... Not always, but like a lot of the time they get shorthanded. I feel like they definitely deserve something on the Halloween banner. If you guys remember from last year's um, Tempest Trial dialogue, Bowie mentions that he's going to round up everybody from Valencia to like return the next year, but we didn't get a single Valencia character this year, which, you know, it sucks because it's like, I mean, I'm really happy for the Naki ult. You know, that really helps because Naki's amazing, but I really think they deserve something on this banner and, uh, Maybe maybe next season they'll get something, but yeah. Valencia definitely deserves more. We get Perry. <laughs> I hate summoning her, man. She has so many lines of dialogue. Um, but yeah, 3.25 3 rate. I apologize if I sound a bit nasally, kind of, because um, it's fall season now and allergies. Whenever the seasons change, my body just reacts terribly. So uh, there's like a transition period for me where I'm just... You know sneezing like crazy so i apologize but yeah allergies have always been a point of concern for me but nothing to the point where i'm gonna like die or anything but yeah seasonal allergies are real we get donnie so that is at least we're getting the blues right but having no spark definitely is a bit frightening <laughs> i keep saying that but i'm so used to seeing the spark number you know up to 40 being added on to but you know, I'm not, that, that's not happening. Okay, wow. <laughs> I get Olwen. I already plus 10 her from all the four star specials over the years. So I get another one, which is, it's not even going to fill the focus charge. So I guess, all right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Yeah, I already have an Olwen to plus 10 thanks to that happening all the time. And also arena tickets, which I'm saying it like it's a bad thing. Olwen's cool, you know. I have her at plus 10 now, and hopefully one day she'll get a weapon refined. She's like Ophelia. She's stuck in refined jail, along with Reinhardt, Surter, Base Hector. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that one, because I already have her at plus 10. But I have a pretty cool build on her. I gave her Resonance, I think. Um, because if I have a plus 10 unit, even if it's not like a super duper favorite, I might as well, you know, give them a good build. So that's what I did, and I don't really have that many Mage Cavaliers. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking um, or howling. But yeah, I don't really have that many Mage Cavaliers. I really wish they would release more Mage Flyers. Um, I don't really have too many favorites with those uh, alts or versions. All right, we are back. 212 orbs remaining. We've only used, what, about 40 of them? All right, no blues. Um, I guess I'll go for green. Uh, I mean, I could go for red, just get a four star seed all. Yeah, I think that's safer. Just to preserve my rate, I mean, I guess I could get a 5-star one, but hopefully not. Um, we get Fear. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. Two blues. But yeah, um, really happy about Attune Tamara. She's super duper strong, like I said. And I do really wish that Halloween Tamara was a different weapon type, because I knew her base version was going to be a Lance Inventory. Because that's how she is. So it's a bit disappointing to see her Halloween version also be Lance Inventory. Because I have a lot of those. Or at least a lot of premium ones. You know, Toon Sita as well. But yeah. Maybe they could have made her a mage or something. That would have been fun. But it's not the biggest deal. I could still make use of her obviously. But some variety for your favorites is always nice. Okay, we get Lara Shell. So still no Tamara or like a random 5 star to increase the focus charge. Okay. Um... All right, let's try to go for a four-star seed all. Okay, thank goodness. That's not five-star. Cool, cool. All right, let's keep going. Below 200. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, my gosh. Blue stones. What is happening? Um, <laughs> do I go for another seed all, dude? Or do I just go for green? I guess I'll go for another seed all. That's like the safest play, right? Okay, we get Paula. Really glad that all the white wings have matching resplendents. Catrice is my favorite one. Okay. One single blue. Come on. 
<laughs> okay. All right. I was gonna be kind of upset, but Fallen Ursula is really strong, and also she has Verge of Death, which is amazing fodder. So it's not the worst deal, and you know, she also fills the focus charge, so that is not bad. Verge of Death, and she's plus speed. Wow. Um, the one I had before, I definitely sacrificed, but yeah, Verge of Death is amazing to have for AOEs and whatnot. All right. So our rate is gone, sadly, but at least it's a good pity breaker. Oh, we get another parry. Uh, boy. All right, come on, Tamara, please. I summoned for your Attune version recently, and I just need two more copies for your Halloween. Okay, Lucas. But yeah, about Attune Tamara, like, she does really well against... I did mention it, Bray Felix. So she does better against Bray Felix than Sita because even if Sita can, you know, okay, we get double Lucas. Even if Sita uh, hits him with a special, a lot of the time he survives because of his flat damage reduction. But in Tamara's case, Tamara just pretty much okos him. Um, there's nothing you can do about it because Sandstorm hits incredibly, incredibly hard. So that's one advantage. But she does worse against like Cavaliers and Armors, obviously, because Sita has an effectiveness. So against someone like, okay, we get Celica. That's cool, mine is like plus 6, so that's like another accidental plus 10 from getting her so many times over the years from these 4 star specials. But yeah, um, Tamara doesn't do as well against stuff like Brave All Fawns, you know, Toon Sita can definitely handle Cavaliers better. And even um, Deer Man, who is one of the hardest units to take out, uh, Sita can even struggle taking him out, but at least she has effective damage to somewhat do some damage. But I haven't really tested Tamara as much against you know, threats, um, because I've only had her for a few compared to a Toon Sita I've been using for months. So we do get Kyle, he's one of the recent demotes. Might build him one day. Ephraim is one of my favorite lords. Okay, we get three blue stones, please, Tamara. We get Corrin. Alright, this is not looking great, guys. Um, I really don't want to, you know, have to get more orbs than I have to. Um, we get Katria, I was just talking about you. Beautiful Resplendent, but we don't need you right now. Okay, come on. Okay, we get Reinhardt. Oof. Big oof. One singular blue. But yeah, I'm just I'm just rambling about comparing a Tomb Sita to uh, Tamara. Because I think overall Sita is a better tank. Like against more threats, I suppose. But Tamara does better against the things that Sita's weak to. So like um Sita's not as strong against infantry nukes or you know because she's more, mainly good against cavaliers and armors i mean she can still tank infantry is no problem but against stuff like nurgle you know nurgle is a pain in the ass and tamara can definitely tank hits from him because she reduces special damage and um that's really helpful against you know him because i've had my Sita survive nurgle okay we get back to back tatiana i've had my Sita survive nurgle before but it's really really hard you have to like pair a bunch of support for her and i do that normally anyway but you know it's kind of iffy, and even if I do survive, it's with like 5 HP. So Tamara does way better against stuff like Nurgle, but against Cavaliers and Armors, you know, Sita has the upper hand. And th you know, there's trade-offs, you know, Sita has the Unity, so if Tamara's debuffed, you know, she doesn't have that luxury. But, you know, Sita also doesn't have the Bulwark, she doesn't have buff nullification, which can really be huge. So, yeah, it's, uh, they both have pros and cons for sure. And using them both, I've been using them both on the same team, and it's actually ridiculous. They can just really, really... I mean, it's not really the greatest team synergy. Ray 350 already. It's not the greatest team synergy because they're both Lance Infantry, but, you know, it's fun to have them both. Okay. Ah, no blues. Um, hmm. Do I just... I'm scared. Who would I rather get? Flane or Anna? Probably Flane. I oh, not Flane, sorry. Probably Anna because I don't really use healers that much okay we get basilio the nick fury of fire emblem <laughs> okay almost down to 100 i'm getting a bit okay we get four blue stones can this be it guys can this be it tamara please even just getting one would be nice um okay we get Sedith, who is amazing he has an amazing weapon refine i can't believe they made his weapon refine that good and i've been using him a lot with my toon Sita just to get more flat damage reduction and you know he has soaring echo a lot of good uh supportive skills so Sadith became one of the best units in the game like legit just one of the best support units 
And even in combat, he can survive because he gets flat damage reduction of his own. You can definitely make him offensive if you want. So I feel like with all the power creep going on and all the craziness going on in the metagame, you know, it's nice to have someone like Sedith in the regular pool that pretty much anyone can access and uh, have on their team because he's always going to be useful. Okay, we get Naoi. That was trash. <laughs> okay, yeah, that circle was disappointing. Gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Uh, okay, um, let's get all these guys out of here. Just double checking him. Not throwing away any five stars or anything. Okay. All right. Three, seven, five. It doesn't look like we're going to get two Tamaras here, which is unfortunate. Um, but that's how it is when you go on these banners without a spark, right? The spark helps you guarantee progress. <sighs> so, yeah, we've used about 150 orbs and haven't gotten a single Tamara. Yeah, that, that really sucks, but. Let's, uh, let's keep our heads high, be a little positive here. We get Marcia. <sighs> 375, we might reach 4%, guys. But honestly, like, I really can't complain too much because I've gotten really good luck getting her base version. And then I mentioned the Chez summons, those were insane. So, you know, this is, I guess, the game's sign or them telling me, you know, you've had too much good luck lately. It's time you have some mediocre or bad luck. Um, no blues. Four <sighs> percent is crazy. See, this is the problem because like I could easily get the four star demote and then not break my rate. But if I get the five star one, it's even worse than getting, you know, like Anna or Flane. So I don't know what the hell color I should pick here. <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. Uh. I'm gonna go for red, we're gonna try it. I mean, that's the best course of action. Don't be five star. Okay, we get Tharja. Okay, the dream is still alive. We have 86 orbs. Can I get at least one Tamara before the video ends? Um, please. That would be very, very nice if I can get one. Um, all right, we get smoke. Can it be Tamara? No, it's Effie. Please get out of here, Effie. Ah. Uh, 76 orbs left of course no blues don't be five star seed all okay Whew. it's four star all right there's a glimmer of hope guys 76 orbs can we get one tamara at least um please yeah, man, we really need sparks for old seasonals. And this isn't even an old banner. This just dropped last year, right? So um, at least give it for the really, really old banners from like 2018, 2017. You know, they really deserve getting sparks because people are still trying to plus 10 them, just like what I'm doing right now. Um, no smoke. We get Oscar. Yeah, these these <laughs> these summons are pretty depressing, guys. 4.25, dude. 4.25. All right, we get three blues. This has to be it, guys. Please. No pity breaks, just give me one Tamara. Two Tamara, ideally. No smoke, of course. We can't what is up with dude? I've gotten so many back-to-back -back of the same unit on this on this video, I feel like. <laughs> uh Alright, there's the smoke. Fingers crossed. Please. Yes! Woo! Finally! We get one Tamara. She's home. Oh my gosh, she's so cute, man. All right, well, I'm just gonna check. Doesn't matter because I've already ascended her IV, but this one's plus speed. If I can get a Tamara in this blue stone, that would be incredible. I know it's not gonna happen, but that would be poetry in motion. Give me the smoke. Okay, there's a the smoke, there's hope. Please, if you can get back-to-back -back Tamara, that would be insane. No, but okay, it's there. All right. <laughs> uh, well, 4.25, I might as well use or try to get like Anna or something because the rate is super duper high. Maybe not super duper, but pretty high. You know, 4.25 is decently high, I guess. Um, we get Camilla. And we can try and get Flane on this last circle. So at least I got one Tamara. Can't complain. Um, maybe I'll try to go for her off screen. Or maybe I'll just make another summon video. I don't know. 
um, <laughs> we get Dwyer. I'd be lazy sometimes, but we do get one Tamara, so Leash is plus nine. We have 46 orbs, so I mean, the video's not over. We can try and get one at low rates, and of course, there's not a single blue stone. Like, where are these green stones when I want them, dude? Like, seriously. <laughs> I hate green stones, man. Uh, okay. Alright, we got Lex. He should get a weapon refine relatively soon, I feel like. I don't know. We get one blue. Can this be a Tamara here? No, it's my boy Rody. Give my boy a resplendent. Okay, alright, two blues. Um, okay, it's Saint. Okay, another Saint. This is like my fifth Saint. He always randomly pity breaks me. Um, <laughs> alright. Well, I mean, it fills the focus charge, I suppose. But it's not Tamara. Can we get it right here? Please. Please. No, it's Corin. I'm looking for meat, not corn, man. Um, okay, two blues. Focus charge might be filled up, honestly. Um, okay, no smoke, of course. We get my boy Rashea. Okay. So, one Tamara in about 257 orbs, which, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. It'd definitely be like that. Vanessa. We have 18 orbs left. Okay, I gotta do this again. Sane, Sane is like one of my stalkers, man. He he is so consistent showing up whenever I'm summoning, man. Um, okay. But, I mean, we got Fallen Ursula, so that's great. Virgin Death is amazing. All right, 18 orbs. A few more chances. Singular blue. Can this be Tamara? <gasps> yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, guys. Clutch City, dude. I, this has happened for the third time, I feel like. The first time it happened was Emblem Mars, that crazy summoning session, if you guys saw my video for that, or videos for that. I clutched uh, getting him the last copy in like the last 20 orbs or 50 orbs, and then similar thing happened with a Tomb Sita a few months ago. I got her within the last few. And then same thing here, um, getting Tamara in the last 18 orbs. That is incredible. So she's going to be complete for the plus 10. I'm so happy. It didn't have to take the full focus charge either. So yes, that's why you keep going for it. That's why you don't give up and uh, risk it for the biscuit. So that is the plus 10 or the last Tamara I needed for her Halloween version. I'm so happy, guys. That was super clutch. I didn't expect it to happen. I figured, okay, maybe I'll save orbs for, or, you know, just get more orbs and try it some of her later but nope she showed up right on cue so it took 250 something orbs or about 240 something orbs but she is home and i can't be more happy that was that was epic. <laughs> i have no words guys that was epic so yeah i'm not gonna be summoning the rest of this circle wow she's gonna be complete guys i can't believe it i was like conceding defeat i was like okay i'll take one tamara you know and uh, she showed up in the clutch. Amazing. All right, so now I will go ahead and merge the last two for the plus 10 Tamara. Wow, that was crazy, man. <laughs> My girl showed up in the clutch. Shot clock cheese at the buzzer. All right, so the plus nine merge will give me attack and speed, which of course is appreciated. So there she is. All right, and then we'll go ahead and merge the last one. So. Thank you guys for watching uh, this summoning video and also if you watched my previous one last year for her uh, when I got her like plus six or whatever so the last merge will give me defense and res so there she is the plus 10 Tamara she will be my or she is my 122nd plus 10 I don't remember which five star exclusive number she is right now because um, I don't have that memorized on the top of my head right now but yeah um, she is 122 and it's fitting because obviously Halloween season, but also I plus 10 her retainer, uh, Panette, uh, recently because she just got it added into the Grail shop. So where is she? Um, there she is. So I gave her this build, which is pretty fun. Offensive kind of build with support because her weapon has the times pulse. You stack it with infantry pulse is pretty fun. And 
She's really useful for my arena team with the Toon Sita because it helps her get her special ready and she can hit really hard with Gale Force. And uh, Berserker Axe is just a really fun weapon, so I'm really glad that they made Panette really good, they made Tamara really good, both Tamara's versions. So that is my Panette and her queen and her princess. Tamara is complete, at least her Halloween version. Oh man. I love her art, man. I'll always love Tamara's art, when, whatever alt she gets. So that is the plus 10 Trick or Meat Tamara, and hopefully one day I'll plus 10 her base version, who also has amazing art. Um, but yeah, that's going to be much later. But honestly, even at this amount of merges, she works amazing as a Omni Tank. And this Tamara is not really going to be used as much, but you know she's going to be there to tank a lot of melee threats and just hit really hard with Ignis and Lagoose, and Lagoose friend. I can't talk. Um, but yeah, that is the Halloween Tamara summons, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy I didn't have to use more orbs to try and plus tenor because I figured, all right, one Tamara, you know, can't complain because my luck has been really good lately. But she showed up right when I needed her to with 18 orbs on that singular blue stone. So that was amazing. So yeah, I am ecstatic and I, I'm really helpful. Really, I can't talk. I said happy and grateful at the same time. I'm happy and grateful that she's complete. So that is Tamara. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Please stay safe out there, especially with the hurricane. If anyone's in the hurricane area, please stay safe. I hope it uh, stops soon. But yeah, uh, stay safe out there, guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.